Martin? Well, I, I joined ITV in 1963 and the first Christmas we did a Tommy Steele show and this tape was so expensive that the board had a meeting to decide how many edits we could have in the Christmas show and they approved two because as I recall they were £200 a tape in those days or something of that order. It, absolutely, they were unbelievably expensive and that's why today a lot of the shows yeah. done in the yeah. 70s on these tapes are missing because we had a thing in the Beeb called tape servicing where you would take a tape like this, take it out, put it on a machine, record black level on it. Um, there's nothing in here but it's locked. Um, even getting the tape out even. took four men. <laughs> <laughs> this is not I think this is not working like it should do, but it doesn't matter. Anything. That's not important. That you record black yeah. level for 90 minutes and then as a direct entry engineer I would sit there and watch black level sure for 90 right. minutes to make sure there were no serious damages on the tape. And if that if I decided that there weren't serious damage on the tape, that tape would go back into stock for use again because they were so expensive. So you have things like Nat King Cole's last ever BBC series gone. Loads of stuff we, we know is gone because of the value of the tape. Now, that, th these days, that doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. As media storage became cheaper and cheaper and cheaper, um, the other problem with these tapes was their longevity. Um, they would form a thing called white powder, which if you left them for any time in a bad environment, you'd get a powdery substance forming like on the tape. Like a battery. And that would play havoc when you tried to play it. It didn't work. So they. The archiving project then started to moving them off, cleaning the tapes and getting them off onto another format onto... We went to D3 and then that became dead. It's a nightmare trying to work out a format that is going to last into the future. 